Hi, this is a walkthrough of the ATT personal tax paper from May 2014, question one, and we have adapted it for the 2021 tax year. My name is Omar Aswat. Jessica currently owns 6,000 Hardman PLC shares. Her transactions in these shares have been as follows. So currently owns 6,000 shares. And the transactions are 26th of June 2018, she bought 10,000 shares for £1.20 each, giving you a total cost. 10,000 at 120 gives you £12,000. And she then disposed of 8,000 shares, sold 8,000 shares on 16th of Feb 2021 for a total of £15,000. So that's your proceeds. They've given you the proceeds in the question. 10th of March 2021, she bought a further 4,000 shares for £2 each, giving you a cost of 8,000. And you can already tell that they are testing the share matching rules for individuals, which are on the disposal of shares. The shares will be matched with certain acquisitions as per sections 105 and 106 of TCGA 1992. And the rules are, if you make a disposal, then that disposal of shares is matched to acquisitions made on the same day, which we do not have in this instance. Then you look at any acquisitions made within 30 days. And as you can see here, 10th of March is within 30 days. And therefore, the disposal on 16th of Feb of 8,000 shares would first be matched with the acquisition within 30 days later, the 4,000 at £2 each. And then you finally match the disposal with the share pool. So pretty simple calculation. The question is calculate the net chargeable gain arising in 2021 on Jessica's disposal of Hardman PLC shares. So calculate. And this is for three marks. As I say, they've given us the proceeds for the 8,000 share disposal on 16th of Feb 2021, which was 15,000. As I say, the disposal has to be matched with any acquisitions within 30 days of the disposal. So therefore, the 4,000 at £2 each are being treated as disposed of in priority. So that would give you a cost of 4,000 at £2 each, giving you 8,000. And then the remaining 4,000 shares would be matched to the acquisition on 26th of June 2018. And slight calculation there, which would be the 4,000 at £1.20 each, giving you 4,800. 15,000 less your two costs, 8,000 and 4,800, gives you a net chargeable gain of 2,200, that is for three marks. You'd get a mark just for identifying the 30 day rules and then taking it back to the share pool. You'd get a mark for the general calculation and then a mark for the gain, so that's three marks.